everybody and happy Friday. This is Queen of Light 1111 here with your energy check-in. So today we're going to be looking at Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine's energies. As always, I'm going to start with Divine Feminine today just because, you know, for those of you who don't really want to know about the masculine energies, we are going to maybe save that for the last part or we are going to... Um, channel those energies on the king of shadows 1111 channel just based on <clears throat> however the energies come out if i feel like divine feminine is very detached very surrendered and she only wants to know about her energies based on what comes out today then i will make sure that i transition the masculine portion over to the king of shadows 1111 youtube channel but we'll see we'll see how things are going now just a reminder i am running a sale through today only the sale expires today it's the lucky sale and and the Twin Flame Energy Check-In video reading, as well as what is coming up for you in love video reading, are only on sale through today. It's been on sale all week. It's going to end today on St. Patrick's Day. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. And by the way, if you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. And don't forget, join the Soul Circle. The link is in the description box. We had an awesome roundtable yesterday where it was so wonderful to see divine feminine energy supporting each other, sharing with each other, listening to each other. It just was such a beautiful experience, you know, and it wasn't just me like, you know, just coaching and leading like I usually do, but we had other members, other feminines that came in and were supporting other feminines and sharing insights and videos and knowledge. And it's just such a wonderful, special, sacred community that I urge you join for one month and just see how that works out for you. For the month of um, April, we've got some awesome classes coming up. We're going to look at eclipse season, so we're going to have an astrology workshop. We're going to look at the court cards and tarot, and we're going to do a little class on that. There's an empowerment and healing workshop coming, another cooking class, and lots, lots more. So you get so much just for that one month, okay? And every month we think of, we have new um new workshops, new meet, you know, new sessions, and it's just great. So consider joining. Let's go ahead and get started with Divine Feminine's Energy. Okay. <laughs> Okay, interesting. So bottom of the deck for Divine Feminine, we have the Temple Path. In her overall energy towards masculine, there's an energy of victory. In her head space, she's walking away from something. In her heart space, there's some energy of hostility. And in the environment, there is appreciation. Appreciation for her material world, appreciation for her environment, appreciation for her journey. Let's go ahead and get some... Um, clarification here on these cards. heart space is jumpy. I don't know if you all are like fluttering in your heart space or if there's something that's clearing out. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Three cups. Okay. So let's go ahead 
and clarify with the last card. So victory, we have the Ace of Cups in their head space, walking away from the devil energy. In her heart space, hostilities with the crown chakra. And in the environment, appreciation for balance. And that is the temperance card. Let's clarify further and let's see what's going on with feminine. already see divine feminine is doing really good so i'm probably going to do the masculine portion um, on the king of shadows channel okay bottom of the deck for divine feminine we have the temple path so there is absolutely an energy here for divine feminine that she's on her path she's on her spiritual journey you know she's navigating this very well she understands her spiritual purpose she understands you know, the support, she understands how masculine has supported her um, by, you know, being the catalyst to her awakening. She's very much in this energy of uh, illumination. She understands that everything that she's gone through is part of her soul's process, her soul's growth, her soul's evolution. And now these lights around the temple path, I just feel like there's this energy of protection and of guidance from her spirit guides, from her angels, from her ancestors. And she is really tapping into these energies, okay? And we have three of cups here, and it just feels like her energy is that, you know what, that she's on her purpose, she's doing what she needs to do, she's in her alignment, but there are still, because we have the hanged man here, I do feel like she understands that, look, you know, there are there's still a pause in sharing love, there's still a suspension in sharing love with the masculine right now. Maybe there are other things that he needs to deal with, maybe there's some karmic attachments, some type cycles, some behaviors, there's things that he needs to release, and so therefore, she's under understanding that everything is part of a process everything is part of some sort of evolution and right now things need to be suspended okay until those you know issues within masculine are released so when she thinks about her masculine what is she thinking victory she's like you know what there is victory there is success why because ace of cups i'm loving myself i'm filling my own cup i'm in this energy of emotional healing i'm in this energy of contentment and i finally feel free i do feel like divine feminine in her overall energy is just feeling very good about where she is on her own spiritual journey regardless of what is going on with masculine She's in this energy where she's like, you know what? You taught me how to love myself. By you not choosing me, I chose myself. And thank you. Thank you for freeing me from this energy of not being able to love myself without any external relationship validation, etc. And so in her overall energy towards masculine, there is victory. Victory in her own love of self. What is she thinking when she thinks of masculine? She's walking away. She's walking away from any uh, entrapment, any prison, any toxicity, any karmic patterns, anywhere that she is not the master of herself. And mostly she's walking away from the future. These future thoughts, three of wands is about wanting something to come in. She's done. She's done with, is he going to call me? Is he going to text me? Is he going to wish me happy birthday? Is he going to come back? Are we going to be in union? No, she's walking away from that. She's opened the gate. She's passed the door. She's looked back. She says goodbye. And she's in this energy of, you know what? You've got to beat your own um, attachments. You've got to beat the where you're not the master of your own life because I am walking away from that energy as well. Remember, divine feminine is the energetic leader. And by her cutting out these behaviors, she is absolutely in this energy of I'm detaching, I'm freeing myself, follow the popcorn trail. What is she feeling in her heart space when she feels for masculine hostilities? You know, there's probably, you know, there were some hostile energies, maybe energetically, um, perhaps they had words. Um, and in her heart space, she's aware. She's aware of the hostility crown chakra. But guess what? She's over the hostility. She's over this any energy that controls her, any energy that brings poison into her body. Remember, there is that saying that when you're angry at someone, you're the only one drinking the poison. 
you're the only one drinking the poison. That person doesn't know that you're mad at them. That person doesn't know that you're hostile with them. She's aware of that. And she is victorious over this hostility. The second card of victory for feminine. I love this. Feminines, I'm so proud of you. I mean, you've all come such a long way. I'm so, so proud. What's happening in Divine Feminine's environment? Look at this. She has appreciation for every rose, for every thorn, for every weed, for every blooming bush. She has appreciation. In her environment, she appreciates the balance, the balance of her shadow, the balance of her light, the balance of her relationships, the balance of the separation. She has appreciation for every single cycle. Divine Feminine is in a really, really good place. I mean, it just feels like, I don't know how you guys are feeling, but this energy feels like Feminine's finally taking that sigh of relief, finally turning the corner. She understands why there's still suspension in this connection, but she continues her journey regardless in love, in freedom, in vitality. She's walking away from any attachments, any um, sort of energy of waiting. She is aware of the hostilities that have happened and she is aware of the benefits and what she needed to release and she has been victorious and in her environment, she has appreciation for it all, for her journey, for her masculine, for the good, for what was difficult. She has appreciation for all of it. So if you are a feminine watching this right now, congratulations. Congratulations. Look at this. I also want to say, look, this is a number one, six, seven, five. So we have all of these energies of, you know, five, six, seven, right? There is this energy of, um, you know, like it's like things are happening in the right time, in the right manner. And congratulations, feminine. You are victorious. You are vital. You are happy. You are free. And why are you free? Because you detach yourself from waiting. You detached yourself from expectation and that allows you to have victory over any sort of hostility. And in your environment, you are balanced, you are happy, and you have appreciation. Oh my God. Have a wonderful Friday. And if you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. Have a great day. Bye.